Hi guys and gals out in YouTube land, it's Miss Beverly here with you this evening um, to do another wig review. I um, had done a uh, video previously, um, and I don't know, some of you guys may have seen it, some of you may have not, but um, I did a video about uh, my latest um, haul from Sam's Beauty. And uh, I've got to fix my necklace here. And uh, one of the units I got uh, is the one I'm going to try for you guys today. And this is called Gala or Gala, something like that. This is from Free Tress Equal. It is uh, just a regular wig. Okay. It is Futura Fiber. And I paid $17.99 for this wig. <laughs> yeah! which is killer. So let me get it out of the pack here. Um, the color I got this one in, I, I like to try this. Free Tress has some very cool colors of their units and to me their synthetic hair is probably um, the most natural um, looking and feeling of any of the synthetic uh, hair um, wigs that I've tried. I really just think across the board their fibers are the most natural looking. Um, then that maybe doesn't necessarily mean they last longer, <laughs> you know, um, because uh, yeah, I have had lots of my subscribers and people I watch have units that they've worn, you know, since the dawn of time or something. Me, myself, the synthetic wigs just don't generally last me very long. You know, it's probably my fault. So, I'm just, I didn't have the uh, thing off this yet, so hang in there for me a second. What am I not doing here? Hell with it. Where's the scissors? Give me the scissors. Cut this damn thing. So, um, but the style of this was so freaking cute for $17.99. I mean, seriously, how can you beat that? You know what I mean? So I just had to try it out uh, and see, and the color was really cool. So here's the wig. This is uh, color number F237. And um, this unit kind of puts me into the mind of a longer Carmen, really. Uh, which Carmen is from Model Model. Um, and a, a very, very popular uh, wig. Um, um, and it's like a full cap or a, you know, like a band full cap, which is kind of like a glorified half wig. Um, but this one is pretty cool, so I'm kind of excited to check it out. I had to set the tabs there. And the inside of this looks like the inside of every other wig. There's absolutely no combs in it. There are the adjustable straps. It does have a small flap here in the back, which, like I always say, kind of helps the flap to hang a little or to set a little more nicely on the back of your neck, which is nice. Um, and um, no combs in the front. It does have the typical U shape here for where the parting is. And uh, the side tabs, of course. Um, so let's throw this guy on and see what she does here. trying to figure out exactly how they have this wig. Is she wearing it cockeyed? So it doesn't look like to me maybe she's wearing it cockeyed. 
which I don't have any problem doing that either, but that's what it needs to be. And kind of pull it a little more cockeyed. So, here's the picture. And it does look like, I mean, doesn't it to you guys look like she's kind of wearing it cockeyed? Now, because this is a, a, uh, closer to my color and a blend, I could probably go ahead and, uh, pull out, um, Where's my rake? What is this? Um, and pull out some of my hair across the front of the wig line and blend it in uh, to blend in with it. Um, where does that piece go? It's a little darker than I normally wear anymore. Um, since I had my own hair kind of, I had it lightened. Um, my hair is like a number six right now. I like to rake through just a little bit. I mean, we don't want to, I think this hair ha would have a tendency to get big really quickly on you. So you definitely want to be careful when picking them out. You don't want to do too much meddling with it um, because you don't want it to get too, too big on you. But you do have to do something. You know, some people may just use their fingers or whatever. Um, but you do have to do something to, um, to pull apart the curls because the curls... Um, will look uh, too synthetic-y if you don't kind of pull them apart a little bit. Eh, only a couple hairs shedding. The front, you know, now I have it cocked way up to the side. I got one ear tab all the way up here and the other one is like way down here um, because the part this um, appears as though she has it to the side, you know, but when I put it on and put the ear tabs where they were supposed to go, it that didn't look right. It was in the middle, so. But there's nothing wrong with flipping your, you know, flipping your uh, side tabs around. No problem with that. Now this is absolutely darling. Now you see how it kind of has an ombre effect um, where the top part, you know, is, uh, is, is like a really light um, color and the bottom is more dark. And it's got kind of the little flips on the bangs. And then um, it kind of just flips back here and on both sides. And then the back, let's take a look at that. I'll have to scoot out a little bit so you can see. Hopefully you can see me. And here is, oh, just nice and bouncy. Has this great, uh, great wave pattern in the back. And it does have some great movement. You know, I can't say enough of positive things about the, um, uh, hair fibers on the free dress wigs. Um, they are just, you know, really just fabulous. Um, and you can tell uh, it reads a little shinier um, on the camera here than it actually is in person. Um, but shininess is, is easy to take care of. Now, um, you know, this may, well, I mean, it will. I mean, it will tangle. This will tangle on you. Um, but it's not terribly curly, so it shouldn't get too bad, and you should be able to use, like, your, um, you know, regular wig control spray to kind of help that. And I would probably um, try to work something out with this part here. 
and the front of this and maybe you know see if the you know if we could move that piece over or if we could do something else with the front or maybe use a little net spray to kind of keep it back because there's really nothing more annoying than continually doing this all the time you know out, out of my face out of my face out of my face or you could pin it back you know um, but I like this unit. I think this is fabulous. And for $17.99, all day long, people, I will wear this number all day long. You could kind of, you know, give it a little more body if you want to. Um, you can certainly put heat on it because it is uh, Futura fiber. Uh, so it's uh, curling iron safe to 400 degrees. Um, and... Uh, the waves I just love that I, I I wish I would have gotten a little lighter color honestly because I haven't been wearing um, although my natural hair color is dark brown um, I've been wearing more light colors but I thought you know with the with this being so light on top that I could swing it and you know for $17.99 I'll make it work you know uh, let me know what you guys think. Here's the side. Here's the side. Cheese. And here's the side. So, um, yeah, let me know what you guys think. Now, this came from Sam's Beauty on one of the sales that I got um, a couple weeks ago for $17.99. Man, I just think that's cute. Cheese. So, yeah, let me know what you guys think. Um, and, uh, you know, I, I'm not going to do any more of the rating because, you know, it gets so annoying for me to try to figure out why did they thumbs that down? You know, I don't even want to have to put that much thought into it. Sometimes I already know if it's a thumbs down. I don't need anyone else to tell me. <laughs> So, but definitely, you know, share your comments and, you know, if you've had this number, uh, definitely let us know how it worked for you and um, how it lasted and so forth. Uh, this is my first time getting this one and I, I want to say this is one of the newer ones from them. So, um, uh, I don't recall having seen any videos of this one yet. So, yeah. Um, I'll be back shortly. I've got more wigs to review. So until next time, rock on. Bye-bye.